Hey YouTube, we're just um, doing a film here about our Elite figure collection. We're going to start off with um, two Elite figures that we sadly had, but now they're broken. Our first one is Kofi Kingston, the Elite Series 9 figure, I think? Yeah. Yeah, and um, we only have his pants now, and also we have Drew McIntyre with the Intercontinental Championship. It was a really nice figure to have, but we accidentally broke it by a, a choke slam. Okay, now we're coming on to our figures with the accessories. We just we start off with our not we our eighth um elite figure, which is um gold dust. The gold dust comes with a wig that can obviously come off. Because it would just look a bit, you know, <laughs> with the wig playing. And also the coat, which is a nice um, golden coat. And from the back, uh, there's some more gold, uh, there's gold dust right in. It's, um, if you ever think about buying this, it's really hard to put on the coat. But obviously easy to put on the wig, just like a hat. Next we go on to our seventh, um, worthy, yeah, which is... Santino Morella. There's a nice um microphone. He has a nice little microphone that does not have the WWE symbol on, but it's still nice to play with. We also have the sh the the red shirt, and also if you take the shirt off under a blue suit. Um, Santino Morella is um. Is a recommended pretty good figure. With, he's good with the Cobras and um, good with some other moves. <laughs> then we go on to our sixth least favourite figure, which is Kane. Obviously, Kane is like meant to be the big red monster, so he has to be scary. So it comes with a nice black towel that fits on the head. A chain, so it looks like he is a really big red monster, and also the figure Kane. The figure Kane is a nice detail on the face, on the shorts, has some red lines like it looks like barbed wire. It's just show how brutal and hardcore this figure gets. Then we go on to um, fifth, sixth, fifth, and um, fifth. Yeah, fifth figure. He was in count now. Which is the Woo Woo Kid Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder comes with a nice, like, nice material coat, which is, by the way, if you would like to get this, it is pretty easy to rip. We haven't ripped it yet, but soon we may. And there's like a little logo and the cool sunglasses that he wears to the arena sometimes. And now onto the figure. Zack Ryder is a colourful figure, it has on his shorts. All the nice orange, the orange purpley kind of suit here, with one long sleeve and one light short one on the legs. Now on to our fifth, the fourth. Fourth, yeah. Well, I can remember the rain, the master of the six or nine, Rey Mysterio. This um unique Rey Mysterio figure comes with. His own little mask, so you know he does the ring entries, he normally gives it to the crowd. That's what it normally is. And now we have this, well I don't really know why, it's just like a neck thing. There's Rey Mysterio there, it has 6 or 9 if you can see it. It has a 6 or 9 there, and that at the back is just plain blue. Now we're going to the Rey Mysterio figure. The Rey Mysterio figure is gold on one side, and silver on the other. This Rey Mysterio is is a unique figure to do a six or nine with, but sadly, it's one of those figures where it cannot sit down. There's the phone ringing. On the back, it has um nice detail of the tattoos on the arms, and plus on the body, it has Mexican. Okay, now on to our next figure. Our third favorite figure is. Seamus. You honestly may be thinking, now uh, why is it your third? It's a, it is a nice figure, we gotta admit that. It comes with the WWE Championship, which has Mon Night Raw on the set template. If we could just take this belt off, it's, it's buttoned. Let's just take this belt off. 
it. This is what the WWE Championship looks like. Yeah, it's, it's nice detail, and then on the side it has plates such as Monday Night Run Night Raw and a logo. And now we go on to the little catch, you know, the little little things, the metal pole. The metal pole has little holes on the end things, so you it does have a good detail on the metal pole. And now we go to the Sheamus figure. The Sheamus I would recommend is a good figure to have. It has a nice um, nice um, kind of like armband things. It has nice detail on the trunks, the shorts, and also I would recommend it good for road kicks and um, pal justice. And now we go on to our second favourite figure. It's a tough choice between the first and second one, but um, we came out to the decision that the second is John Cena. John Cena comes with a nice hat which says on it, you can't see me, this kind of logo. And also we go to the pendant, the necklace as well. The pendant necklace has a really nice detail on it because, well, <laughs> it just does really. And now we go on to the t-shirt. The Never Give Up Sea Nation is kind of a hustle or respect. It's kind of like that. That has on the, is, um, on the, some, on his shirt as well. And it's the nice orange shirt, not the purple one, not the, like, the new reddish one. It's the orange one. And now we go on to the figure. This John Cena is, um, honestly an amazing figure to play with. He has You Can't See Me There, he has Hustle Oil Respect There, and Never Give Up C Nation There. John Cena is what really Mattel is all about. It's, he's the main thing about Mattel, and it is honestly a nice figure to have. And now we come to our first ever, our best figure that we have of the Elite Collection, which is The Miss. <laughs> Let's start for the United States belt. The United States belt is honestly just beautiful. The colour is amazing. And if you look on the sides, it has the Statue of Liberty there. You probably won't be able to see that. And it has the Statue of Liberty on the other side. The United States championship I would recommend is the best belt to have. Not the Intercontinental United States, um, Intercontinental WWE. This is the most best detailed um, belt they're probably going to make of the Elite series. And now we go on to the black leather jacket. This black leather jacket probably cost the Miz quite a lot, but then again, he is awesome. <laughs> this is down a little joke there. And um, the Miz has these uh, little buttons to make the really good detail and the little pockets on the side and stuff. And then we go to the cocky Miz figure. The Miz figure has a really good look on his face, which has um, on the shorts, I'm awesome. And also on the side, it has B Miz, you know, I'm awesome. And then another B Miz on the back. Um, and also, it doesn't really show on this, a bad thing it doesn't show us, but number 40 is what he also is all about as well. So that is our, um, our figure elite um, view of our collection. Um, there's our clothing, kind of the hats, the necklaces, the other stuff, the coats, and the Intercontinental United States and the WWE is here as well. They are these are the three belt staff. They will debate the World Heavyweight Championship soon. And when our battery comes out we probably will get that well. Bye.